we are here with Coach Doug Souls, Great Oak High School. Again, the standard of excellence here at Mount Sac. First and foremost, congratulations on both the boys and the girls' size. Uh, six years in a row now that you guys have won both. Um, if you could, we'll start with the boys. Uh, just take us through the overall performance. What did you like from what you saw? Obviously, as we've talked about before, this meet is more of just a stepping stone to get to where you want to go late November, early December. What did you see in that stepping stone here today? Yeah, uh, We came out of... Uh Clovis a little bit tired because we did the the big trip to North Carolina and then we kind of kept up emotionally so we could go run at Clovis and afterwards it was kind of a Oof, I'm tired so all of our kids are kind of feeling the effects of that we've just been cycling through um, just being a little bit a little bit tired from from travel and whatnot so trying to get up for this meet I can tell you the kids are like ah I'm not really into Mount Sac this year so it was it was a little bit harder to get them uh, dialed in than it normally is but um, once we started watching some Mount Sac videos and talking about it they started getting excited yesterday so we've been trying to keep it low-key I was proud of their performances knowing they're a little tired and you know we, we've had a lot of kids with sicknesses and all those things that everybody's dealing with this time of the year and so we just we wanted to try to get through this meet without too many issues and then just move on. You talked a little we've talked a little bit about the just the depth of this program and we'll start with on the boys side. Um, I, it's hard to even go back and fathom, you know, another program equaling or even being near what you guys have offered in terms of depth. Had a, uh, one of your regulars out today and still with a strong performance. Just take me through, you know, the confidence you have as a coach when you know that even if one or two people are out, you can plug other people in and still experience the same amount of success. Yeah, we got a lot of really good guys this year. You know, we've kind of known that, that no matter – how many we needed to switch in, we weren't going to lose a lot. Josh Abernicka stepped in for us today as a senior, and uh, I think he was 21st uh, in the sweepstakes race, so we're pretty happy with that. And then uh, he's a senior, and then senior uh, Leandro Candre ran 15.25 and won the, the JV sweeps race. So, you know, we know we've got some guys that can fill, fill in when we need it, and, um, you know, we just wanted to cycle some different kids through it, a couple guys that were real tired and uh, just kind of wanted a break. So we'll cycle some different kids through over the next few weeks, and we might even throw a few of them in at Arcadia and get a get an opportunity to just shake the legs out of another fast course since we, we didn't run super fast at, uh, for everybody at um, Woodbridge. So we'll see where we're at. But ultimately, uh, I think our, our goal is to just, you know, make sure we're healthy and focused going into the postseason now. You talked about health on the boys' side. Gabriel was your top finisher here today. Mm -hmm. Obviously, his journey back from last year, from being you know injured during cross country and state meet and all that kind of stuff. Just talk a little bit about what you've seen from him so far this year. You know, it takes time. He he was pretty much injured most of the year last year. Just one thing kind of led into the other, and he wasn't able to to get any consistent training going. For somebody that's as talented as he is, and he's he's always been good. You know, from middle school all the way through. So it's been really hard on him uh, to to not be the top guy because I think he's always seen himself as the top guy. Um, um, and this group of guys, anyone could be the top guy on any given day. So I know for him it's been it's been a little bit hard, but I know for him each week he's going to get a little bit faster and a little bit faster. Top five performance against some really talented kids today. Uh, I think he was fourth right behind Colin Petey. So, I mean, that's there's some big names right in front of him. So I felt felt pretty uh, happy with his performance and, and Chris Verdugo right behind him. So we'll move over to the girls again. Another impressive victory for you there. Um, what did you see from them that's giving you maybe reassurance or is just kind of letting you know, hey, we're on track for where we need to be at this time of the year? You know, I was really impressed with Ariana Griffiths. You know, we had her start out real slow and she worked her way up to, to number nine uh, in the race, which was a great performance. She said she felt fantastic. So she's coming off being hurt and, and uh, she's, she's won two races and been top ten in the sweepstakes race now. So I'd say she's probably back at this point. Um, our two little freshman girls in there ran really well and and didn't seem to be affected by the course too much. So I think right now for us, it's just a matter of getting fresh, you know, feeling a little bit fresher in what we're doing. And when we do that, I think we won't have any problems. We got plenty of depth on the girls' side, just like the boys' side. So lots of kids to choose from, and we'll be pretty competitive from this point on. And then finally, my last question to you is kind of a standard one that I've asked you several years in a row here. Looking ahead, again, CIF coming up, then obviously postseason after that. You've obviously undertaken a lot of teams that have gone really far and done very well and been very successful. When you look at the program, both the boys and the girls this year, do you see two programs that can continue that lineage in those pressure situations? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, we faced 
probably the two other teams that we thought we were going to have to face to win state titles in Bellarmine and Saugus today. And, you know, those are both really good teams, and I felt like we, we competed really well with them. So, you know, we, I think going to state, if we can stay relaxed and run the course like we know we can run the course, that we should come out on top on both sides. And, you know, our, that will give our girls nine state titles in a row, or nine, nine state titles in ten years and eight in a row, uh, which is pretty impressive. Just when you look at how many different kids that is, to be able to put that kind of a decade together, and that would give our boys six state titles in a row so you know just quite a quite an amazing feat for that group of kids and um, you know at the end of the day NXN is what it is you're gonna get up there and it could be 32 degrees and snowing it could be you know 55 and raining we just don't know what we're gonna get up there so we try to control what we can control and be as ready as possible and I think our switch to focusing on soft surfaces hurt us a little bit at Woodbridge uh, but I think it'll pay dividends for us when we get to nationals Another fantastic dual performance here today. Again, 60 in a row. Great Oak is your team sweeps champion. Division one boys, uh, division one, division one and two boys sweeps and girls sweeps.